All right, so I've got one that we've been cooking for a couple hours here in the pot. Um, as you can see, it's uh, been simmering pretty, pretty slowly. You can see a little bit of color to the broth. So now that the meat's done, I'm going to pull the bird out, and we're just going to kind of pick the meat off of it. You see how it uh, really wants to fall apart. It's real, real nice and tender. And that's, that's exactly what you're going for. And so, since ours is so nice and hot, I've got some cotton gloves I'm gonna wear. So that way I don't end up burning my hands. If you if you got time and you're at home, you pull it out, let it cool a little bit till it's uh, cool enough to handle. Or if you got a pair of cotton gloves, those, those work great. Put a little latex on it so the moisture doesn't seep through and burn you. So basically, I'm gonna pull off the skin and I'll set the skin to the side and I'll set all my meat in one section. And as I go through and get bones back, I'm actually gonna put the bones back in the pot and I'm gonna end up cooking the bones for several more hours. Um, if I've got the opportunity to cook it overnight, I'll do that because uh, there's still a lot of nutrients in the bones. Uh, so if you slow cook that, add a little bit of vinegar or lemon juice, it'll pull out more nutrients and uh, then you can strain everything out and uh, you'll have a great base for uh, soup or sauces, um, anything like that. And so all this meat from the chicken that you see, it just, just falls off the bone. It's great for chopping up to make chicken salad, put it in enchiladas, quesadillas, anything like that. And that's the majority of what we'll do with the stewing hens. But remember with stewing hens, because those birds have lived such a long active life, they're not going to be the same. It's not a, not a chicken or a bird that you want to grill, not something you want to roast or bake, just because it's going to be a lot tougher because it's had that very active lifestyle. Um, so just remember, it's called stewing hens for a reason.